hello. Hello, hello. Hey. Hey, man. What's going on? Um, not much. Uh, so, yeah, I um was a fan before, but I kind of stopped watching um after uh kind of after the GamerGate kind of stuff was over. Um, so I don't think I ever did a video on GamerGate. I I'm not a gamer. Yeah. I, I had nothing to do with that. It stuff. was probably um just like the all SJW stuff that was happening during that. So, um, mm -hmm. uh, so still happening. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, that's kind of where, um, the contention is. Um, I think that so you are an SJW. No, no, no. I'm, I would be, I would be what you consider an anti SJW like in 2016, but I wouldn't consider myself an anti SJW now because it seems like the people who call themselves that are like, they go too far. But how do you go too far? Um, it's, you know how, like when feminists, um, like when someone calls themselves a feminist, you know, that they're like mm -hmm. kind of crazy, Fuck, this is going to sound bad. Cause it sounds like I'm calling you crazy. I don't think you're racist and I don't think you're crazy or anything, but, um, mm -hmm. generally when people call themselves like the anti SGW label, it's, it's like changed. Like now it just, it, it's like people who focus a lot on race and, find scenarios in like colleges and stuff that aren't really like um like they don't really show the breadth of like the the culture or whatever it's kind of just like here are these edge cases but like you um they make fuck i'm just going to talk about you you make mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you make like a lot of videos about like sgws and like race and stuff and it feels like since you make a ton of them that it kind of blows the issue out of proportion. Hmm. Um, I don't even know how to, how to begin with that. I don't even know what an SJW is today by your definition. I mean, I'm not doing videos going, hey, look at the libs of TikTok. Aren't they lame? I mean, I'm not making fun of feminists. I'm not, I don't really, I mean, Loosely, SJWs, if you're talking about people on the far left, I have massive criticism for the people on the far left. Yeah. So, I mean, that's my political standpoint. And I'm especially irritated with them because they've ruined my side of the political aisle. So, like, I, if someone's supportive, um, supportive of reparations, is that an SJW? And if I'm against that, am I anti-SJW? Uh, well, I mean, that would be a little bit SJW if they support SJA. Um reparations actually i don't know but um i mean but to me sjw was like the most comical feminist blue hair in her attic making videos about the wage gap and i'm not i'm not doing that but you're saying if you make too many videos about a topic you're making it seem like it's a bigger deal than it is i yeah. think race is a huge deal it's an enormous deal and i'm not the one starting this i'm the one reacting to it i'm a social commentator and yeah. in case you've been asleep for you know for the last 10, 10 years we're having massive problems of when it comes to race relations in the country i yeah so do you cover i mean i haven't really watched it i just i've like right. browsed your channel on like bit shoot or whatever and i see like mm -hmm. bleeps are doing this and bleeps are doing that um yeah and i know you use that because like you don't want to get censored or whatever but um there's a joke yeah mm -hmm. uh but do you think that like um, like TYT, for example, they constantly mm -hmm. pick out like neo-Nazi here, neo-Nazi there, neo-Nazi everywhere. And mm -hmm. their audience basically thinks that like neo-Nazism is like a huge problem. And I'm kind of mirroring that right. to you. Oh, yeah, but the problem is the facts are on my side. I mean, I, I just did a video about mass shooting in this country. And, you know, I, I showed what AI thinks mass shooters look like. 
which is just like white dudes. So like, I don't know if you saw my thumbnail, but like it, I, if you ask mid journey to give you a mass shooter it, from America or a mass shooter from Chicago, it gives you the stuff like this. And out of the 39 shootings this month, how many white guys do you think were, were part of that? Um, probably not a lot, but I know what's your guess. I mean, the average mass shooter is people think it's a white guy. Yeah. Um, I mean, I mean, I, you're telling, yeah. you're telling me if I talk about bleeps, I'm making it seem worse than it is. Yeah. I'm saying like, um, because I, first of all, I think this AI thing isn't like a, like just because AI generates what? Okay. Let me gather my thoughts. Uh, no, no, but it, I'm not blaming AI. AI is, it takes the word mass shooter yeah. and looks at every image associated with that. And a lot of the time it's going to be Dylan roof or a school shooter, or that phrase mass shooter gets a lot of publicity when it is a white shooter. Yeah. And well, so it's flooded. Yeah. yeah I understand. And that's a problem that I'm discussing, but I don't think I'm making it a, I think a bigger problem than it is. I think I'm acknowledging the size of the problem. So to answer the question, out of the 39 mass shooters this month, one has been white, and it was some guy in Utah who killed his own family and then himself. And about 93% were black. Yeah. And it, that never got mentioned by the news, not once. Yes. Yeah, so... And so, like, I fill in a niche, um, which no one else does, which is I'm going to push back against the silence when it comes to calling out who's doing the mass murdering or the rape or whatever else, you know, like, I just feel like that's the moral thing to do. But because of the, our society has been kidnapped and held hostage by racial guilt and just racial animosity. And we're all being extorted almost financially. Like, I mean, that's the final end goal. But if you try to push back and speak out against black people, not in general against the ones doing the mayhem, and you know it's important because this is not a blue-haired feminist in her attic; it's people murdering people and raping people. Then you get um, silenced and censored. Like I just got banned from Patreon yesterday. I've been banned from PayPal. Obviously, been banned from YouTube. I've been banned from Vimeo, like all sorts of places. And it's not because I'm hateful or I say anything bad. It's because I'm morally coherent. Yeah. And I'm just calling out this segment of our society that is disproportionately acting insane morally. Um, so I, I, I don't know. I, to me, I feels important and I don't know what you, you think I am generating more of a, like you're basically blaming the messenger. You're saying there is no problem here. It's just you harping on that. That's the problem. Yeah. Uh, in terms of the um, AI thing, um, yeah. I guess there's like a question of why the media covers uh, white mass shooters as opposed to black mass shooters. <clears throat> And do you think that's um, just because they're trying to like do like a race kind of thing to like get views or stuff? Yeah, it's a sexy story to sell the idea that white people are evil and nasty and we are the causers of harm. It fits in with, we did the enslaving, we did the colonizing, we killed the Indians, we're the bad guys. And everyone else gets a pass for their despicable behavior. So Dylan Roof gets all sorts of publicity. The same week or month that Dylan Roof did his shit, a guy named Vester Flanagan killed two white people live on TV. And he did it in revenge of Dylan Roof. And he wrote the names of the victims of Dylan Roof on his bullets. Now, that was sensational. That was live on camera. Dylan Roof wasn't live on camera. Vester Flanagan is not a famous dude. You probably never heard of him. Yeah. So the, the 39 mass shootings, which ones did we hear about this month? The Asian one. There's two Asian ones that we've heard about. They, that made national news. Why? Because it's different. It's sexier. It's sensational. It can get clicks. It's an Asian grandfather killing people. So they, it's a human interest story. Blacks killing people is an ugly tale that the mainstream media does not want to hear about, even though it's 95%. You know, and they were 95% of the mass shootings in January, and they're 12% of the country. Mm -hmm. Like, this is a freaking outrage. And the idea that we're going to waste our time talking about one story or another... We get, we're getting fed very um, fabricated narratives that the mainstream media is happy to tell you. This is the same mainstream media that has stuffed their rosters filled with black people to absolve white guilt. 
all, every morning show, NBC, ABC, uh, CBS, it's 68, 70% black anchors. Yeah. I mean, it's la- it's a laughable decision <laughs> that has been made here. We're in the midst of like a mushroom cloud of white guilt and racial politics. And you are completely, it's totally taboo to speak out against this or to call it out. Mm-hmm. And I get someone like you coming to me saying, I don't even watch your videos, but I think you're calling it out too much. And you don't even know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, there's also like, do you think that there could be a difference between the white shooters and the black mass shootings? Or do you think like, no, they're completely the same or we're talking about IQ. Um, cause I'm the I... difference. Yeah. There's a different context for sure. Yeah. There's all sorts of different kinds of mass shooting. There's like dudes who are in cells who go berserk, uh, and just kill randomly. There are dudes who are just flaming out. It's like a suicide mission. Then there's like personal issues. Guy goes into his work. Guy shoots up and kills his family. Then there's gang banging and shooting at a nightclub. It's a fight that just guy pulls out a gun. He turns violent. I mean, yeah, there's all sorts of different kinds. None of it's good. But I mean, what's the point of talking about mass shooting or anything for that matter if you're not going to get specific and call out the people doing it? And to think that race doesn't play a part, this doesn't mean race is the causal factor, but it's like... It is a pattern that to ignore is basically insane. Um, I'm against I'm against murder. Yeah, like I I'm against murderers in prison uh, being released. Are you against that? Yeah. So I'm against the Innocence Project and what they're doing, trying to get dudes who are obviously guilty out of prison, and they're 99% of the time those are black people, and actually like 90% of the time it's black people who have killed white people. They have massive campaigns to get these people out of prison. I'm against it. If if it were white murderers who killed black people and there was a campaign to get those guys out of prison, I'd be against that. And I do videos about that. But that just doesn't happen. All right. Um, Devin, could I... This is going to sound weird. But um, could I get my brother to talk? He's... Who is he? He's smarter. <laughs> Okay. What what is his political affiliation? Um, he's probably liberal, pretty much. He's a liberal. Okay. Yeah. He's a shit lib. But uh Oh also okay. Well I mean I'm I'm a liberal too. I mean I, I take shit I hate Trump. I'm pro gun control. I am pro abortion. Uh Obama Democrat. Like that's what people might not understand. But uh I guess before I get him, can I just ask uh do you know who destiny is yeah of course um would you ever like consider talking to him or i mean not really he he i think he was on record saying i'm a psychopath or uh, something like that just talking shit i don't think he's watched my stuff or um but yeah i don't have any interest to go into that community and be some sort of a um a punching bag or like someone to be judged by a group of spurgs like it has no interest to in me yeah i don't want to come off like a simp or anything but like mm. des if you come and you talk to destiny he's like the most good faith kind of person and i don't know why right. he called you insane mm-hmm. i d- right. didn't hear that but um mm-hmm. i feel like you would get a good conversation out of him and his community might hate you probably because of well, yeah why would i walk into tens of thousands of people who hate me and i don't know why they would hate me but it's just people look for targets on the internet yeah but if you and make... especially in internet blood sports they're like oh here's a guy who talks about race fuck him if like you... it, it's just retarded if you make a good case though <laughs> like his audience isn't i don't think they're dumbasses yeah, but I, I i already agree with destiny on shit like as destiny's gotten older he's gotten smarter and that's why he's pushed away from the far left i mean it, it's taken him long enough and he's still not fully there but like He's been right about Brianna Taylor, Kyle Rittenhouse, um, trans in sports, you know, like you name it. These are just like common sense positions that someone who is older and wiser like myself is not that impressed with. It's like I do going, you know what? I was a flat earther for a while, but I, yeah, it is round. I figured that out. It's like, oh, good for you, Destiny. You figured out some basic shit. Yeah. I mean, I don't think personally, I don't think he'd, he'd go. I don't think like I, I see you as more extreme than him and i don't think he'd ever make it to that extreme <laughs> what do you mean extreme what, what are my extreme positions and i have to deal with bullshit like they go hey you're a race realist i'm like what yeah i don't think you're you racist. think race is real but what race is real 
Well, this is as real as <laughs> cereals are real. Like breakfast cereal is real. That's not what they it, mean now. But like race realists. What do you mean by race realists? Race realists are people that think like black people are like superior are superior in like running and like doing all this shit and black people they have uh-huh. like a genetic um predisposition to commit crime and stuff and that like no but see that that's wedged in there just the very notion that the category that we know as race is a legitimate thing it is based in biology and culture and history i mean it is absolutely real everyone thinks it's real it's the weirdest thing in the world to point to a white person to go ah you think race is real everyone does i i don't think race isn't really i don't think it's that bio it's more cultural like who was considered wait, wait black one who was considered white in one time period is considered i yeah, mean black but, okay so yeah yeah but the, depending on the time in history yeah different people are have different ways of doing that in south africa the if you're half black that you're called colored yeah um so so be it i mean yeah it's somewhat arbitrary if you want to call a half a black i mean we call obama black you could call them white if you want. Yeah, but, but there's there's like but, no there's no like yeah, but just just because there's purple doesn't mean blue and red doesn't exist. No, the colors exist, but the um, like it's very melanin is real. Yeah, yeah. The, the biological differences are real. The fast twitch muscle fiber is real. The level of testosterone is real, and the IQ tests are all real. Yeah, if you if you I were mean, to if you were to say that okay. about like ethnicity, I'm all for that. But with race, it's like there's nothing What's the difference ethnicity is more of like where you come from it's more it's way more location based whereas race is kind of way more variable like there's only how many races well, are there there's only like well yeah but it, it now it's it's just a matter of how general or specific you're talking about so if in america we have a very dumb version of like black and white there's a lot of different kinds of whites there's a lot of different kinds of blacks um so yeah sub-saharan north african what yeah, are we that's talking ethnicity. about like but no, like the aboriginals of Australia, that's a race of people. It's not an ethnic group. Oh. And they have an IQ. That's a, that's a certain thing. You can compare that to, you know, well, yeah, it, it doesn't even matter. The point is there are different groups of people that exhibit different characteristics. Yeah. Agreed? Now, we can call that whatever we want. We like to call it race, but it that it's just a term. Everyone knows that. The Nigerians are not the same as the Zulus. They know that. Yeah. It makes sense to have words to say, you guys, us guys. It's That's all anyone's saying. When it comes to, like, uh, crime and stuff, though, mm-hmm. I don't think you you're could pro, really... You're pro-crime. No, <laughs> I don't think you could correlate that with race. Like, you, you could correlate Okay, but, well, wait a minute. It, yeah, but it's I'll not because it. of How, race, obviously. Okay, but why, why, why are you debunking something that was never said? Who said it was because of race? Well, that's what race realists say. So that's why I'm like kind of okay. Well, well, that. I think the main to, to steel man their point, and it's a pretty damning point. Um, we know that the lower your IQ, the the greater chance there is that you will commit crime. We know that, and we also know your tendency to be violent increases with your testosterone. Mm-hmm. Do you, are you aware of that? Uh, I mean, yeah, that's that's probably true, but also probably. Inter- Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it's true. I mean, do you realize why men commit more violent crimes than women? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it just because we suck, or is it like, because we have testosterone? But you can't, <laughs> you can't like correlate black people's IQ to like cr- crime, especially since no, like. But, um, but it's a very simple point. It, I'm saying, do you agree that the lower your IQ, the greater chance there is that you're going to commit crime? Yeah, sure. I mean, it's not even. It's not even controversial at that point. Yeah. And neither is the testosterone when it comes to violence. And mixed together, you're going to get more violent crime if you have more testosterone and lower IQ. The question then becomes to you, do you think that on average, black people and white people or black people and Asian people have the same level of testosterone and the same IQ? No. So then you don't expect them to produce the same degree of crime? Uh, yeah, no. But like it's so not... you're not shocked by the numbers. I mean, the numbers line up. Our the white people's crime rate in America lines up to that of Scandinavia or Western Europe. Yeah. When it comes to whites over there, black people's violent crime rate in America lines up to that of African nations. You think? I mean, that cannot be a coincidence. I mean, what I'm trying to say is, and there's cultural issues too on top of that. 
fuck. I don't want to... I don't even want to bring up epigenetics. But, like, I think IQ is also variable depending on, like, the schooling and the opportunities they're given but, to. But, but schooling is not IQ. That's knowledge. That's your education. I'm pretty, We're talking about your hardware. I'm pretty sure your IQ is variable, maybe? I'm not sure. What do you mean variable? Like, it, it's subject to like change. it can change. I okay, think. yeah, there's... there's some change is possible, but often people have yeah, different tests and whatever, but there are averages. We're talking about after thousands upon thousands of studies over years and years and years, this result has come out. I mean, how else would you explain that what we see on the ground? I mean, the answer for a lot of leftists is, oh, they'll just chalk it up to all racism. They'll find a way to blame white people for every nefarious thing that a black person does, Yeah, but which it- is insane. Like, you know, Ashkenazi Jews are, like, the smartest. They have, like, the highest IQ, right? Sure. Like With, with the Asians, but yeah. 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 Like, would you just take that as fact, or would you think, oh, maybe there's, like, something that happened that made Ashkenazi, Ashkenazi Jews so much higher IQ proportion than, like, all of the other Well, population? I mean, what happened is they were literate, um, and they interbred. Not like incest, but they had a very tight... Um, pool like mating pool and they kept you know smart people had sex and had gave birth to smart babies and then they educated those babies and yeah i mean it's a success story but eventually and this is darwinism over time you just you have a bunch of smart people breeding with each other generally yeah but in like the holocaust pretty much killed all of the lower iq jews so there's like a really why why would you say that um well i'm pretty sure this has been like i'm pretty sure historians probably say this that like um Mm. because like the the less wealthy because wealth probably correlates with iq and stuff the less wealthy jews so probably the lower iq jews are probably not going to survive the holocaust because they're more likely to not have opportunities to get out well no no i mean there was no way out of that scenario you can't say you're dumb if you died in the holocaust i mean yeah but if you're rich you probably have opportunities to survive Somehow. Um, I think some rich people had a chance to get out earlier. Like, I mean, they could have seen it coming, but a lot of rich Jews died and were, their shit was just commandeered and taken over. And I wouldn't say dying in the Holocaust is a statement about your IQ. But either way, it, you know, the six million that died, um, or that, you know, there's more than that, but it's hard to track. Um, you know, they rebounded and they're still the same bloodlines and on average. The, the math of it doesn't lie okay. and i'm willing to accept all that too and you look at the way jews perform when it comes to crime um don't don't focus on harvey weinstein and you know some of those people but look at how they are in terms of violent crime look at how the asians are in terms of crime and then ask yourself why i mean another factor is an exacerbating factor is that they have strong families that tend to have you know married two parent families and they raise their kids with you know well basically so they give them every chance to succeed and uh you know on the flip side of that blacks don't do that to a shocking degree and they're raising their kids poorly and the culture at their schools and in their community um normalizes criminal activity drug dealing get rich quick or die trying and uh it's yeah a terrible cocktail yeah, but couldn't it come but it's... from, like, historical factors? <coughs> what? Couldn't it come well, from, like... <laughs> yeah, yeah you're, I can hear you wishing that, that it's that. So you, you you hope to not hold them accountable. I... What historical factor causes them to not marry or raise their kids well? Um. Well, if they're disproportionately, like, poor on average because they had less opportunities before and then there's, like, generational wealth, then... Yeah, but the, if you're disproportionately poor... That's more reason to get married and have two incomes. Uh, I mean, you don't, being poor. I don't know. Yeah, of course. If you're poor, I mean, first of all, if they're poor, it's on them and they need to Uh, rise up. And also being poor is not an excuse to be violent or be criminal. Yeah, but it's just going to happen. Like um, like poor communities are. No, we have immigrant communities who are poor. They come here with nothing. They work hard. They rise up and they earn and they provide their families with a better future yeah but i think um why why are you willing to give these people a pass because they're poor i don't think i i don't like 
I think you're essentializing it way too much to race and not just seeing it like people are I'm not people. I'm not saying, what, what do you mean? What what I'm not saying anything they're doing is because of race. Well they 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 do what they do and I'm reacting to it and I know the numbers. And the yeah, patterns. But, but you're asking like what you're asking like why are black communities so much more likely to commit crimes than like a poor immigrant community? And like if you essentialize mm -hmm. if you essentialize that to race, then you're basically saying race realism is real. It's not. It's not like historical factors influence their. No, I'm not saying. No, I'm not saying their race. They used to be married. It's their culture. It, the culture that is doing that in today's society are black people. They're the ones producing generation after generation of unfathered children, who are morally suspect, who go out there and commit crime, and one out of three of them go end up in the prison system. Yeah, I'm but, not saying that's because they're black. Who's saying that? Okay. I'm saying that's what is happening. And, you know, if you want to have the IQ and the testosterone conversation, that's probably too advanced for most human beings because they don't really want to address it because it's, you know, basically you can do nothing about it. So white people who are very bleeding heart and they want to solve things and they want to apologize for slavery, they're not going to sit there and be like, look, um, there are certain tendencies that you guys do have. Uh, and we see this all over the world. This is not an American thing. We see the same stats in Canada and in England and Australia. Um, and it's just kind of, it sucks. And But I'm not going to condemn you for it. Because I'd rather just self-flagellate and say sorry about slavery, even though you had nothing to do with it. Um, yeah. And you make excuses. And, you know, I'm sitting here talking about people harming other people. Themselves, by the way. 93% of the time, if a black is killed, it's from another black. And... I'm against it. I mean, this is like moral, morally obvious stance to take. And you're like, yeah, but I think it's pre-existing no, things. Not, I, I think yeah, it's historical yeah. things. The, the thing is, like, is what? I'm not, I'm not making excuses for them to commit crime. I'm saying that they commit crime probably because of other reasons. What reason did the 30 guys this last month who did mass shootings, what excuse or what reason is going to make that less atrocious? Whatever environmental or genetic factors led to that but like environment or genetic i thought you're the one that says it's nothing to do with genetics it's just all culture no everything ha has to do with genetics and environment okay well am i allowed to criticize the wildly disproportionate most criminal element of my society yeah carefully carefully why um otherwise because... i get banned from, from... Because if you end up saying if you end up um, saying like this black pe this black person did that this black person did that and you keep going that route instead mm -hmm. of qualifying it like then people well, are I just going to qualify. Think black I qualify people. and I say that not all I'm not talking about all blacks I'm talking about the ones that are doing this obviously yeah 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 so like so if it's a guy who has a great family and he, he works hard and he pays his taxes and he's a great dentist and uh, you know then fine I, that's awesome. And I also qualify, I'm against Hispanic criminals, I'm against white criminals, I'm aware they exist. But I'm also aware of the numbers and the disparity between the two. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, you could say there are some good black people, but if you say that, like... No, but this... That sounds bad to say there are some good black... It's like, most of them are shit, but there are some good. <laughs> no, I'm saying most of them are good, some are shit. And I'm saying most white people are good, some are shit, but the numbers do matter. Yeah. So when... when... <laughs> Like, black people commit, uh, like, more than half the murders, and they make up, like, 13% of the population. What does that statistic mean to you? It's actually getting worse. Uh, I think it was 60 now. It's um, And I, I call it 360. So you said 13%. They're actually less than that now. They're 12%. Oh, and I, I dive even deeper into it because it's not old black people. Well, first of all, it's not women, by and large. So already you cut it down to 6% of our country and it's not the old, super old dudes. And it's not the super young dudes. It's like the young black males. So it's around 3% of our country is committing 60% of the murders. Yeah. And it's not hard to see, go look at a music video that comes out where they're pointing the guns at the camera talking about, I will kill you. The, here is the gun I'm going to use to commit the crime. You know, it's like, it, it's a key and peel sketch. It's a joke what yeah. this community has become. And what do you expect to have happen when you have, you know, fatherless kids? And half the time, the mother is no picnic either. And yeah, it's just a disaster. If you add some economic hardship on hardship, hardship on top of it, um, yeah, it's it's a 
not going well for them. But it's so funny to see people squirm with the discomfort of it all, like blame white people or blame America or blame slavery. It's just like, what? This is like um, a blind spot of a massive scale. It's it's really weird. And all I do is just state the obvious and people are like, whoa, what a renegade. But um, so when you hear that statistic, like <clears throat> what do you think about black people? Like, do you think... Like what? Like well, what's the reason I think, for that statistic? I think that those black people who commit those crimes should be condemned, and I think the numbers are ridiculous, and I think it's a stain on our society. Yeah, I agree with that. I think it's a freaking tragic, like mess up. They're they're screwing it up for the rest of us. Yeah, I agree. With I don't that. I don't want to live with that shit. I mean, <clears throat> right now I'm in Berlin. We don't have that shit out here. I've visited all these other countries. You know, I've lived all over the world. I've seen so many other ways to live life and it's like i don't want it to be normalized that we have just gangbangers and hoods and ghetto ass shit and drive-bys and i mean it's at an all-time high and so what what do i think about that number i think it's the same trend and the same pattern that's been going on for years i think it's totally unacceptable and i'm standing up and calling it out saying this is bullshit yeah yeah, i would yeah sure um but what i'm getting at that is basically not like like your feelings toward that that statistic i'm more getting at like why do you think that statistic is the statistic that it is why isn't it lower well, it, why isn't it, it higher a variety of things but i mean it is gang culture so already if you just want to say the gangs in the black community they just they create more violence so a lot of this is back and forth it's drug dealing it's people trying to get rich and it, having really no sense of a moral code they don't value life they don't have the same sense of right and wrong yeah. that w- most people would uh, it's not taught to them i guess by their parents or by their friend group they are um acting in a scandalous way out of self-interest and you know then you have like revenge killings and you got all sorts of crap going on but it's just like you got 12 year olds rolling up with guns so you could talk about the ease in which they have access to guns that's shit you could talk about their failed performance in schools so like if they did better in schools if they prioritized school if they had parents that demanded they do such if they felt like they had economic uh future ahead of them and they do it the right way then maybe maybe they wouldn't dive into this culture of um violence and criminality i mean it's also just stupid i mean you know these people get caught like they're not good criminals by and large so they go to the prison system. Then guess what the prison system does? It makes them even more criminal. They get let out. They commit more crime. Uh, and by the way, they're in they're in prison, so they're not raising their kids. They're having children out of wedlock. A lot of them, those kids don't have the the guidance. So for, you don't even have to talk about IQ or testosterone. If you don't have a parent, a father, you're fucked. If you're white, the chances that you're not going to finish college, you're not going to make good money, you're going to end up in jail it goes up a big amount. So they have multiple factors going on that makes their performance in our country. Because the message is so big and ugly. It's just like, damn, sorry. What are we supposed to do? Yeah. You know, you could shut down a messenger. You can't shut down this message. Wait, I can't hear you. Wait, can you hold on. Keep talking. Hold on. I can hear him I just fine. Shit. Hello. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Might be sorrow having problems, not you. Okay. Hello. I can hear you. Oh wait. Okay, I can hear you. Okay, what's up? Um, what's up, Pavit? Oh, Is... not much. Here, wait, hold on. I'm gonna try and um get this to come out of my speakers so that like my brother can okay. talk and I can hear. Okay, or... work your magic. Okay. What the hell? 
Yeah, I've been in here and I spoke with you once before, back in like 2018. No, 19. Oh, nice. Just Years ago. Speed reading books at their little toddlers. I mean, do you think that the education system of Haiti is so inept that, like, first of all, nobody's educating one, two, and three year olds at all? I mean, that's. Aside from like a cat says meow, it's like brains are not going to be influenced in any large degree by the nursery rhymes you're telling a three-year-old. Yeah, but then that just disagrees with science. Like, that disagrees with research. <laughs> you, I just read you the stats and these massive... No, stat, millions stats, of don't, people. stats don't say... Like, you could yeah. read a stat, but that doesn't tell the picture. You need okay, to, like, so, do so research. Okay, so why is it... Why is China's average IQ 105 and Taiwan's is 104? And I go down and, oh, my God... China is pretty shitty. I mean, generally, why, ordinary people... Why is Liberia 67 and St. Lucia is 62 and Cameroon is 64? Yeah, I mean, and you, like, you're you, just you scrambling could, for excuses on all no, these I'm, things, and it's like obvious. I'm not. You could ask me these questions. I'm going to say I don't really know, uh, like, what goes into these countries and why they are the way they are. You probably have to read a history book. I didn't read the history book, but I know from the scientific consensus that IQ is very variable at a very young age. I mean, it, it's like... I mean, Chinese starved for a long time, not <laughs> long ago, so, I mean, you know that much. It's so crazy. It's almost like you're saying people of color or black people around the world don't give a shit about their kids or their kids ending up being smart or education at all. Wait, so... Like, if it was so easy to just make a kid have a 100 IQ, don't you think they'd do that? Like... Wait, what? They don't... What? You act like it is relatively easy to match the performance of education or environment that Iceland offers, why does n not a single black majority country institute these things? Don't you think they love their kids? Wouldn't they want their kids to grow up as smart and functional as possible? Why are they growing up to have 67 IQs? Because their culture we sucks do they probably don't. Is that easy? Um, or is it because their parents have 67 IQs and don't know how to do this shit? Yeah, that's a part of it. So, but, but, but that that's, what is that's the secret like, sauce? I mean, this is and that's based you're on living in a factors. fantasy. No. Li what historical factor? These people love their kids. It, why wouldn't they raise them? There's, this gap is enormous. Wait, so you're telling me 105 in China? Are you are you telling me that like you have a normal baby that's born and you give them no yeah. intellectual stimulation and they're gonna have the same IQ when they grow up as they would have? Yes, yes. So, but what do you? They, these babe, black families give stimulation to their children. No, 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 wait, answer the question. They do, and a lot, a lot of it. Yeah. Well, yeah, but what about, to my question, like, if, an, if, an, if yeah. a baby's born, there's no intellectual yeah. stimulation, do you think that they're going to... that's gonna not have... happening. I'm not, I'm not asking if it has, this okay. is hypothetical. Uh -huh. Would they have the same IQ if they're not stimulated at a very young age? Would they have the same IQ as a person no, it, that it is No, it wouldn't, stimulated? their IQ would not be as likely to be as high as it could be if you're in some stunted, retarded situation. Like if the baby's malnourished, if the baby has no interaction whatsoever, is not engaging their mind, then yes, they'll, they'll no, be less. Really, yeah, aside that, from that those is, extremes, aside from those extremes, that, if you go a little bit further and you're like, okay, they give a little bit of shitty stimulation, it's not very good, their culture sucks, they don't really value education or anything like that. Yes, their their IQ see, is going to be shittier than like a baby who is very stimulated. What, what I'm suggesting to you is that your ex excuses are poor and pathetic and run out of steam. You try to say that it's something about slavery in the history of America. When I point to you that every black country has the exact same pattern, you're like, oh, well, I haven't studied those, but I'm sure there's something there. And I'm suggesting to you that it's you are chasing a rainbow. There's nothing here. The, those people love their children and would do anything to give their children the best chance in life. If, if you said, hey, if you just did these three things to help your child from zero to three, they're going to grow up to be 100 IQ. Versus if you don't do these things, they're going to have a 60 IQ. It's like, don't you think they would have done that over a, at any point in the past thousand years? It's not just in any of these countries. Think about and just do. Like you, you, you are suggesting a level of incompetency and just like negligence on a, such a grand historical scale. It, first of all, it's a laughable idea to start with, but like, look at the overwhelming amount of evidence. Like, go country by country, and the same numbers up here. I mean, this is a chart of average IQs by nation that I found. I don't know how this works into your worldview. 
Yeah, I mean, that's pretty interesting. I mean, India, the average IQ is 82. Wait, they so, have a lot um, of problems there, too. I mean, they're not um, doing so great. If you take, like, a subsection of a country, like, uh, yeah. that's doing really well, um, that has a black community and their IQ is, like, really high, what would you say about that? I would say that it's funny that you would go to that example because that's exactly the opposite that we see in the real world. But yeah, there I would no ask black communities that have like are what IQ they do in past. So, so like in America, for example, the average IQ of Americans is where it's at. The average IQ of Black Americans is lower. The Black IQ is lower. The average IQ of Americans. You're asking the in, in exact inverse of that, which I would suggest is like, okay, well, maybe there's a group of blacks who are high IQ, who are having families and mm-hmm. intermarrying um, among Ask. high IQ people. Ask. That's possible. We, we know that there are blacks who are smarter than whites. We know that. This is the bell curve. There is overlap. We have stupid ass white people. I mean, this conversation would be so much easier if we just eliminated blacks because obviously you have guilt about slavery. And if we just talked about stupid whites and smart whites, the exact same logic applies. And yet, I don't think there'd be much pushback. You'd be like, oh yeah, I understand that that white guy has an IQ of what it is, and that it is his brain. (coughs) So, it's like, mm -hmm. um, so yes or no, do you agree with the research? I... (laughs) <laughs> the research that you have hand selected that I didn't suits your narrative. It. I no. didn't hand it. It's, it's I, like, I agree with the research I just gave you, which is that these are the average IQs of these different countries. Yeah, but that doesn't. Now, that that's like a correlation causation error. Like you can't just correlate because no, this country has I, a lower IQ and they're black. The blackness must be a reason that they have low IQ. I didn't. I, I'm not saying that. I'm saying the people black. of China have this average IQ. Yeah, but it's not because they're Chinese. Like you can't just correlate. It's because that. it's because the brains of the people in that country produce that result on those tests. Yeah, how do you yeah, know it's not the culture? The, how do you, you don't need a reason. It's not culture? Yeah, how do you because, know it's not what I said? Because because Chinese people in America have higher IQs on average. Yeah, that, but that, that syncs could up be, with yeah, the that, average IQ. Couldn't that uh-huh. couldn't that be a correlation causation error? Couldn't you just be correlating? No, no, it's all around the world. It's nothing to do with Chinese culture. Chinese people in America or in Canada have the same yeah, let's average say, IQ. Let's say, all black countries have low IQ. Is that is that true? I don't even know. But um. Yes, look at it. <laughs> is, yeah. Um. So are you just saying that it's because of the people there? It's not because of their their uh, how their country is developed. Well, well, put it this way: Why is it that black people in better countries score the same on these tests? Um. What do so you mean? Th- this is, because what do you mean? Because taking, I already said that like there are wealthy, educated black communities and there are stupid, um, not educated black communities, and they're probably not scoring the same on IQ tests. Like the IQ of like not, a Nigerian is probably different than the IQ of like, is not like a black a, American. You think IQ is correlated with for, uh, wealth? With what? With wealth? You think if you're rich, you're going to be smarter? I think that's one of the like if you're if you're born in a wealthy Trump. family, no, you're more no, likely to have if parents, you're smarter. No, if you're smarter, you're going to be rich. That's the actual cause and effect. It's uh, not that's not the other true. way around. Like Trump, isn't if, if, that you, smart. if you're smarter, Trump no, is if, dumb as fuck. But you don't agree that if you're smarter, you have a better chance of being rich. Oh yeah, you're more likely to. Uh... That, of course, that's true. Yeah, I already agree with that. I said IQ is like a determinant of a uh, success. Right, but everything you're hoping for, which is like, uh, I think it's just a coincidence that African nations score lower, and it's probably the environment there, or their bad educations. Well, you okay, have... then why is it that people from that race in other countries score the same? Well, you're asking questions, but you haven't established a causation. Like, you haven't done any it's research. It's the, the brain of those people. The okay, results, you, this you, is... You, the... you haven't done any research. All the research says the exact opposite, and you're just saying that just what? based on black countries have lower IQ, therefore black people are lower IQ. No, people of that ethnic background, that racial group, regardless yeah, no, but, of the country, score this way on these tests around the world. How is that not the research? That is the facts. This happens all yeah, the time. That doesn't, and it that always doesn't comes prove, out the same way. That doesn't prove that that group of people has a low IQ mm-hmm. because of um, because they're just born that way or because of the country what? that they're in. 
then but because I, of what? I told you, it's any country. There, it's the same result from any yeah, country. No, even if Blacks in country, France will score this way. Even if every, me, country, every black country why? had like a super low IQ, you still couldn't do that unless you like so, do research. So you think it's a, now you're a conspiracy theorist. You think there's a, some massive conspiracy that's holding black back the performance of blacks on IQ tests all no. around the world. No, I'm just going by research. Well, this is the research. The, no, why do you ignore the test results? The results are staring at you right in you front of your face. You can't just read and you're raw. You can't just read raw data and say that this is the reason this raw data exists. That's not. That's not how science tell works. Tell me what is the reason? What, what, is, what is yeah. your reasoning? The, why? why I, is there I, but, but yeah, what, what is beyond this? It's the obvious conclusion. All I can say. The all I can you say, score I can't, this. I can't the, tell you the, what the reason is because we don't. We don't know for sure, like yeah, exactly but the what determines IQ. Why do you think? But we know there's something. Why do you think the reason? Determines. The reason you score a certain way on an IQ test that is meant to measure your intelligence. The reason is that is what your intelligence is. Yeah, I agree. And we've, we've tested it a million times. Culture I agree, but how and that they're poor and colonized, etc. Right? That is what you want to say. Yeah. I'll be honest. I agree that like you take an IQ test, you get an IQ. That's your IQ. And if a country, a black country, does that, that's their, that's the population's average IQ too. But what, what's not being established is whether um, their IQ is because they're in that country and they have a different set of values and standards, or because their ethnicity is the reason they have that IQ. But 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 it's so weird, like, like to put it it's simpler, like work around of language. Look, you say the ethnicity is the reason. No, it people of that ethnicity test their IQ and this is the average yeah I, the reason yeah, I, is I, I, the brains of the people from that racial group yields this result I, on these tests yeah, over and over that. again yeah I agree with that but you and, and you you're agreed, saying yeah but you agreed that your environment changes your biology too like you in you, a minor way on, on the edges says, it though. can change things on a minor wage in the same way that you would be a better chess player if you trained or a better sprinter if you trained to sprint that doesn't mean you're going to be competitive with people because your capacity to be a sprinter or a chess player is limited. And it can be studied and quantified. And again, SF, I brought you the world wars. So why didn't Europeans became dumb if it's environment? Europe devastated, they poor as fuck, hunger everywhere. They're really building their cities back with hand. Why didn't they go retarded? Hold on. Let, let me ask a question here. Do you want all racial groups to have the same IQ? Um, Would that make you feel better? I don't know if I could put a one. Like, if everyone had a high IQ, sure, yeah, that would make me feel better. But that's not possible. Because so, there's always. Let me ask you this. Do, would you want all racial groups in America and beyond to be performing at a similar level of human excellence, of human functionality? Yeah. Okay, so this is your want. This is the emotional carrot that is dangling in front of you, which everything else gets reverse engineered okay, to justify you can't this that. fantasy of yours. You can't say no, but that this everything is, I said. But, but here's, here's what I'm saying. Let me show, showcase you the difference. I don't care what racial group I has what IQ. I don't, I don't care. Wait, wait, wait. So wait, I'm wait, wait, observing wait, wait. the Actually, facts. Yeah, you do. You do care. No, you I don't. You don't, want, I don't, you don't care. want the average person to have a high IQ. No, I, I have no dog in this fight. I'm observing what is true. If someone said to me, Jews have lower IQ than whites, I'd be like, oh, okay, that's, is yeah, that I what the study too. shows? Yes, I would too. But let me ask you the same question I, you asked me. Do you want the average person, the average human, to have a high IQ? No, I don't want anything when it comes to IQ. I'm observing what is and reflecting on what is. You, think I have you are IQ trying to good? will reality into doing into being what you want it to be. No, I'm not. I don't want reality to be something that you want it to be. I understand and accept that there are differences in IQ between races. I understand I and accept history. I have a degree in history. So why do you think some groups developed written language, some didn't? Some groups invented the wheel, others didn't. Yeah. Agriculture, etc. I'm not. I'm not. Why does some I'm not claiming to have an answer, but what I am saying is that you can't say that it's the ethnicity because there's nothing to back that up. You're just using correlation to equal causes. Everything is backing that Wait a minute. Up. Everything backs that up. Wait a minute. You're telling me why did the aboriginals not invent skyscrapers and airplanes and travel to the moon? And you're like, and, and you're like it's not the ethnicity. No, it's not the ethnicity. Yes, you can't it's say that. the you brains. Can't say that. It's I'm not saying that. I'm you saying it's, say the it's the brains, brains of the people in that ethnic group. Yeah, you could say it's the, the brains, brains of the, but brains are subject yes. to your environment. So, 
Again, what? you can't just establish subject to what degree. What what part of the environment is affecting your brain? Already, every part of the environment affects your brain. You could be shot in the no. face, and your brain is mush. If that you, affects if your you brain. take an aboriginal, I mean, do you not know the history of Europe? Like before they discovered America, like the Crusades. I'm not like claiming the, to know the Europe history. Europe was carnage. I'm only claiming like, to say like that this one thing that that you're trying to say isn't established. That's just correlation. I want to say that environment was shit. It was shitty as hell. Yeah, like I, I know. Peasants I'm, like, in Europe you, lived for like 40 years, you give 30 me years. Every example in the world, but nothing like that could be their culture. That could be anything. But I'm they trying to get to a larger their point. Culture. I, look, you're going through a bunch of mental gymnastics to try yeah, to paint the circle. world in a way that is not accurate no, and like, spits in the face research. of all the data. No, you're, you're wishfully thinking going through like ultra progressive, white guilt stained um, pseudoscience that is hopeful that their IQ is ain't a thing. This is not going to age well for you. No, IQ is IQ a thing. Is a it's thing. a well researched science, and every study shows that there's massive gaps between racial groups when it comes to IQ. Yeah, I agree with that. My, my point is, you agree. My point is, <clears throat> the reason why you are twisting and bending into all these irrational positions is because you want the world to be a way that it is not. There's a gap between those two states. Uh, okay, and can I for, what I'm question? telling you, yeah? Okay, so is a high IQ, is that is that a virtue? No, it's a reality. It it's a, it's a it fact is. about your brain. So like having an IQ isn't good. It's just... No, it's it's commendable. It's, it's something that, it's better for you. Yeah. It, it's, 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 it's actually, you don't get too much credit for it because it's just your brain. It's like you're trying harder. It's just... Yeah, nobody gives a fuck. Yeah, it's just who you are. It's it's what you were gifted with. It's like saying the seven-footer who's dunking, is that good or bad? It's like, well, it, good yeah, for like him if he can make money dunking. Being athletic Low is a virtue. Is These are bad, virtues. for example. <laughs> what are you saying? Uh, like... Being athletic and having a high IQ, these are all virtues. I don't know. Why would anyone disagree with that? What do you mean virtue? Like, no, these it's are good things to have. You would agree with Good that. things to have. Yeah. Yes, it's an it's an advantageous thing to have a high IQ and yeah. to have athletic prowess. Correct. Yeah, so you can't say that I'm just working by the lens of, like, IQ is good, therefore I'm just going to argue that, like, everybody has... I'm, I'm just going to deny everything and just say IQ doesn't exist. I, because black people have a low IQ. Like, I'm not going to do that. No, you, you are denying the reality that there are hard gaps, like cemented in hardwired gaps when it comes to IQ and capacity between racial groups. Yeah, but... Between human beings. Between it's, it's like, again, everyone gets so... Their panties caught in a bunch when you compare racial groups. Smart whites versus non-smart whites. We can do that comparison. Yeah, exactly. That's it's true. like it's the same freaking thing. Yeah, but I already agree with. Like, I agree there. Are, I agree there's a large IQ gap between blacks and black Americans and white Americans. Okay. Um, so, so, but you wish that there wasn't, and therefore you're course, hoping to God it has nothing to do with genetics. Or I never nothing said that, that. I never said it has nothing to do with genetics. I just said you're in genetic. You said some fire. You're, you're given, you're born with a set of traits, and those traits mm -hmm. are like malleable. Your genetics, to like, what and, and, and research to what agrees degree? with me. The consensus agrees with me. Right, that, but, but yeah. this is, no, it's not. It's malleable in a very minor way. No, 15 IQ points isn't a minor. It's, I, do, I totally disagree with the idea that you could change your IQ 15 points just by willing it into being. That's what we This is not says, what we though. see. That's the no, consensus. it's not. Yeah, it is. So, so why, so why is Black um, America, and the entire Black world, just try harder and then match the IQ of the the whites of the world? Because you can't and change then the culture would... by just telling them to try harder. Oh, so so the culture? But you're saying it doesn't matter what you do po after three years old anyway. And this is your very bizarre yeah, your, view yeah, of I, IQ and wait. brain development. I'm being. Does any of this does any of this pass the sniff test to you? I mean, why do you think? Africans didn't invent written language. And I'm not talking about Egyptians. And they're not black. Uh, but do you think it's because they're black? Their ethnicity? <laughs> I'm because asking you. They're okay. black. If they you're asking me, I'm going to say I don't know. Because I truly don't know. But what you can't say is that it's because they're African. You, you could but say... Africans didn't in that invent Af language. Like, like, oh, like, you could say that um, Africa didn't have like the resources... 
or whatever oh, for God. humans to God. develop and so had resources language, but you just say it because they're, <laughs> they did. because they, they they're, did it's their ethnicity because i already told you if you if you swap the babies and you you take african babies and you go put them in like uh very um rich uh high valued white households mm -hmm. they're going to be just as good as just every other person every other white person there so you can't just say so, that's race but you're aware we've done studies on this so like yes twin I studies and I've been and studying. there's studies where you people get put into great environments their iq is unchanged the iq is your iq and so yeah the environment doesn't matter it has to be at birth because it's yeah. like what it's at one birth, to three years yeah you can't just take like if you take take me and put me in a different environment i'm not just gonna like get 100 iq points smarter because they're wealthy or whatever so this magical formula of what you're supposed to do to a, for a zero to three year old somehow has eluded billions of black people throughout all of human history and you apparently don't even know what you're supposed to do but you just generally throw out the word culture and say if you just tried harder you'd have the same iq as white people um it's it doesn't make sense this is not you agreed the with way me, the though. world is you agreed with no me. I, I i agree with the idea which you then it's like a trojan horse the idea that there's some level of maneuverability on the fringes of anything whether it's your sprinting ability your chess ability or your iq yes a minor amount has environmental like factors really really minor. right but but the okay, vast the, the main story here and the overriding thing that is instructive as to how well you're going to compete in the world intellectually it is your hardware of your brain which comes from your genetics yeah but you you agreed that um your environment changes the hardware of your brain. In a, right, and it's, it's a scale thing. Not it's like one big less than 1%. And th well, this wait, is wait. what we're talking it, about. It's not less than 1%. You know that because if you take if you take a baby and you don't give them any intellectual stimulation, they're going to be a retard, right? So it's not just it's, 1%. Again, I, I use these examples and it's like, you would Those be a better like, sprinter if you trained to be a sprinter for the next year. Yes. Is there a cap to how great of a sprinter you're going to be? Yes. Is that cap come from your biology? Yes, it does. Like, I don't understand the... You can change that biology. That's the point. Yeah, you no can't what... change your biology, but your environment changes your biology. You yourself can't change it, but... Okay, but there's a let, let, massive let's limit say on that it. that is true on the huge but... scale. You know how, much, how many generations are needed? It's bullshit that it's one generation that's not possible because if that was true i mean a lot of country would change in one generation of a good time and they have like a good I, time ahead so so you think that the whole world has been waiting for your genius take on the development of human brains and even though you know hundreds of thousands of years have gone by uh you know we've only recorded history for a small percentage of that We've seen the results play out of all these different groups and all their average IQs. And it plays out exactly as we would have expected based off the viewpoint of myself and Vlad. But you are saying, no, we're only just a couple tweaks away from changing all those babies, all their brains, all of their intellectual capacity can rise up and be completely competitive, if not surpass other groups like Asians, Jews, and whites. And it's, there's something preventing them from doing this. Why don't you do a TED talk and tell these people to do whatever you're suggesting they do, and then everyone's IQs will be the same? I, I don't need to because they're already like I didn't come up with this idea. Research came up with this idea, and you're saying, <laughs> oh my god, you're, I'm not saying all black people are the same. There are black people in different. What wouldn't all black countries have the same IQ if black people are just the same? No, there's differences between black people. Oh, so like okay, ethnicity. Uh... Yeah, like for example, and South Africa. I mean, yeah, South yeah. Africa has a higher IQ because of the whites in South Africa okay, and the whites so, in the bloodlines there. So, um, do you but think generally I can find a white country similar. that has a lower IQ than a black country? Is there a country that has a lower IQ than a black country? Yeah. Um, like a white country? I, 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 no, it's going to be Hispanic or, or Middle Eastern. It'll be the next one. Djibouti? Djibouti? Oh, that's black. Um, hold on, I'm looking. It's Sri Lanka has 79, uh, which is the Nepal has 78, Qatar 78. So, yeah, it's Middle Eastern. It's going to be a while before you get to a European country.
And if we take those babies and we put them in white families that have good culture or whatever, they're still going to be dumb as shit. Yeah, they're going to be limited by their brains. I don't their know IQ why you think change. if you're getting if, if, dumb, right. you this can be dumb in IQ. He, he thinks that if you're being well fed and you're having nursery rhymes read to you and Good you're singing cool. songs, right, and all and you've got the best diapers in the world, all of a sudden your brain is just enhanced. It's not how it works. You can be well educated and still have like not good IQ, not high IQ. But what's crazy is like America. America is the perfect example to refute your claim. America is not one of these other African nations. It is a compared to the global standards. It is first world, and these people have a great standard of living and a great education compared to everything else. And yet their IQs are still low. Yeah, America started from slavery. It was Jim Crow and stuff. What that the hell? None of that stuff exists. Chinese were slaves as well. Ninety percent of the IQ tests have come way after Jim Crow and yeah, slavery. but if not all of them, that has a so what, has an effect on the culture. What effect? They're poor as shit. Again, do you think they're so? Just, what do you do, mean, since so? when does your your what does your wealth shit, have to do with your IQ? Values, I and they're probably yeah, going to instill those values in their kids. They probably what does your wealth have to do with your IQ? If you're if you're a wealthy family, you probably have you probably value education. You said that so, uh, if you're if you're so higher IQ, you're more likely to be successful. Um, they're yeah, yeah. The reverse doesn't have any together. education. No, but yeah, <laughs> if you're wealthy, it doesn't have any bearing on if your kid's going to be smart or not. Well, it, if you're if you're wealthy, you're more likely to be the type of person who uh, who values education and values. Okay, but education is you know, on IQ. Again, you smash those two well, things okay, together. Okay, when I say flinch. education, I think you think I'm talking about like the education system. I'm talking about like, um, like. At, at a young age, educating your child, like reading them stories and stuff. I, I mean, apparently you think that's the secret sauce. That. I mean, th you have to put a TED Talk and tell Africa and the rest of the black world to read that all, yeah, pictures. read books to their babies and all of a sudden they're going to have 100 IQ. I mean, bro, come on, you can't think I mean, you can't, it's that it's simple. Not, it's, like, it's, everybody no, I, would I bet do you, it. I bet you this dude is Wait, into what's, gaming what's the... and he's into anime and he's into like fantasy realms. Like, this I'm is a fantasy. That <laughs> what's the average IQ of, of the black person in America? Is it, I don't know what it is. What are you saying? The average IQ of a black in America? Yeah. Um, I think it's 75 something. 75. Black IQ in America. So. Hold on, let me see. It might be 80. Let me see. Um, it's hard to find because a lot of people bullshit on these numbers. I mean, we can just go with 75. Um, let's say the average IQ of a white person is 90. So yeah, what, what research says is that very, very early um, like education can increase your IQ by 3 to 15 points. So technically, if we were to be really generous, I mean, this is also determined like how like like how likely you are to like receive the education is probably subject okay, to your let, biology let's, ex too. let's examine those three to 15 what how do we not know that the three is actually any normal person will level up that much and 15 is all is only the genius people the high iq people will rise that much with education so it doesn't really matter at all it would still have high iq you understand what I'm saying? Not really. Like if you if you bring I don't know an average average IQ oh, no, but... kid to education, and how do we know which kid will raise for three and which for fifteen? You don't. That's that's based on your uh, probably your biology. Like how how many there points you you're going to increase by is also the... probably based on your biology. But there's no biological um, differences between the IQs of races. So like that that Kid capacity that of how much you're going to increase. Have higher IQ will no... raise it for 15 maybe. And the kid who will have lower IQ will raise it for 3. So it it doesn't but, merit no, no, all stays just because, the same with education. Just because the well. average IQ of like a black person say it's 75, that doesn't mean that when they were a baby, they're only going to raise by like 3 points. They could have raised by 15 points and it could just be 90 IQ. Yeah, Cuz they could have had the capacity. That, that says that because yeah. I mean, there's always going to be biological constraints, 
but within 50 i i mean 15 it's variable and i don't know if there's any evidence that there's like and research says that there isn't that um based on ethnicity that there's like a capa a determined capacity like an average capacity that you're going to be like there's no causal relationship between that well like the the bottom line is that no matter what you say you don't deny the gap yeah the gap is there the and it has it has real impact on the world and on the results that these people's lives turn out being yeah so like that's what's happening you diving into how and why and you can have all the disagreements you want it what matters is matter at all. these people are operating with these iqs and on a mass global scale you're going to see results you're going to have countries like haiti and zimbabwe and liberia and you're going to have the performance of the black community in england in america it's going to be seriously less on average and it's they're going to you're going to see this kind of failure the crime rate is only one aspect of this you're going to see it in many other ways and for anyone to blame anybody but those people you should be judged on your actions and they're taking the actions that lead to these results and yeah. why why is it anyone else's job to fix them to make excuses for them you're not helping them you're hurting them basically yeah so this is my whole problem with all your content you're basically mm. making it seem like there's no way there's no solutions at all they're just this ethnicity they're what? shitty people no. they're not going to be able to what? It gives them so much your brain every video. That. That's your brain I mean, saying that. Starting yeah. with parenting and a yeah. lot of other things. First of all, it's not my job to fix them. Second of all, I'm just commenting on atrocious moral behavior that, that is going on. And I've said time and time again, yes, parents would matter. Yes, if they stayed in school, stop committing crimes. You know, have a moral code for fuck's sake. Like, you know, why not shame yeah, them? What creates the What's moral wrong code? With that? It's, it's totally unacceptable. Environment. No, our laws and our society and, yeah, culture. Their culture is shit. Yeah, it's environment. The, it's not like your biology. You're just born a bad person. It's your environment. So you should be arguing to change the environment. Again, go but see, again the... yeah. Who, who, when have I ever it said they're born matter. bad people? Yeah, it's, it's just ridiculous. It's like you, well, you... What you said logically f follows that. You said that IQ leads mm -hmm. IQ and testosterone leads to crime. Yep. Black people inherently have high testosterone and low IQ. So they're always going to be um, lead the crime. But what I'm saying is, um, no, that's not necessary. No, that's not true. See, no, but see, but he's yeah, he's he's framing it and putting words. That's in not what he's saying. If, if I if I say uh, higher testosterone and lower IQ leads to more of a likelihood that that person will be criminal, that's a non-controversial fact that everyone agrees with, including you. Yeah, I know. But when you this would, it. this would apply to white people. It, I will say white males will always be more criminal than white females. I will say young men white men will always be more criminal than older white men this this is true i will say dumb sure low not to do it yeah i will say low iq white young men will always be more criminal than high iq white men and you don't have a problem with that because you're like oh well those are just facts that he's saying about his own race so it's not a big deal the second i apply the exact same logic interracially you freak out no it's not it's and not I'm, that no, no no it's not that you say that it's that you say that but you don't say anything else you don't say oh it could be their environment it's not just their it's not their environment it's not oh, god damn it, it. it's not it's only in part their environment i i hold Wait, them responsible no. as human also, beings who they have the capacity create to their own environment no, i mean it, look it doesn't matter it, jeffrey dahmer had a bad environment growing up it doesn't matter if you commit a crime we're judging you you are a moral agent with free will and if you decide to do something, we're putting it on you. There can be explanatory factors out the wazoo. It doesn't matter. You are to be condemned and chucked in jail. Wait, I, so, you, know, you don't even believe in free will. I thought you didn't, like, you're, you're oh, no, biological. Te te technically, I'm saying, yeah, free will, you have choice. So this is how our legal system operates. You are um, a sentient being that is making a choice, and we, we are judging you off your behavior, an action you chose to do. Yeah, but... Um... I don't even know where to go with this. Like from what, like from what I heard you say, it sounded like you were saying there's not like like when I hear you talk, I know this isn't what you think, but when I hear you talk, it feels like you're saying that's that's you strumming me. Yeah, you're projecting. No, you, these are well, thoughts you in your head. 
that you're attaching to me. Well, also, I think you have wrong <clears throat> ideas, too. Like, you oh, don't agree that um, you could have a 3 to 15 IQ. Uh, <laughs> so IQ is nothing. IQ is nothing. I never for said some you're reason, strong manning for me. What? Years, IQ is nothing. That's your stance. No, I never said IQ that. IQ is just, you can, you can, you can close any gap in IQ if you just try. I never said that either. It's only 3 to 15. Well, those are the gaps. If you if you can close fifteen, then you could be up there with the the whites and the Asians. Yes, you could. That's my point. But they can't. You and can. you're wrong. Then why don't you do it? Yeah, why, why, do, you, why, why don't you be don't smart? Any one of us do it? Because yeah, well, why don't a we all do it? Person can't just be like, can you educate? Like when I'm a baby, I can be like, can you sing me nursery rhymes and read me books and stimulate me intellectually? We can so do that with can our children, IQ? but it like, won't work. You're really holding that. on to this idea that it's from zero to three, and that's all that matters. Um, I was just saying one thing. I was just saying in terms of like your IQ is variable change; it's not just set in stone. So the gap between blacks and whites actually could be um, reached. It could be. <laughs> and what's your? How? Uh, what's your timeline for that? I mean, we're talking about averages. We, we know that many blacks are smarter than the average white. I mean, yeah, you know, so so it's like I mean, this is it, not even some like crazy concept. We we see it happen all the time, but on average, it's nowhere close. Yeah, but it's not like, um, like there needs to be intellectual stimulation in terms of increasing by like three to fifteen. If that makes you they feel better, they have it. Yeah. They don't care about it. That doesn't make any sense when you say that. They don't want to go to school, bro. I mean, what? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. What else do you want me to tell you? When you say this single person doesn't want to go to school, and it's not the values of the culture, it's just this single person doesn't want to increase their IQ points. Therefore, they're they're condemned. That like that that's what you think. You my know position. How many is. black people in the like uh, ghettos go to school and listen and do shit properly? Yeah, but isn't their culture kind of shitty because of um? Yet still, some do do the thing normally yes, properly. Some, so what about some, them? Yeah. Like, but I'm saying on average, we're only talking averages. We're only talking averages. On averages, they don't. That's the problem. Yes. Yeah, on average, they don't. But is there a reason yeah. why they don't? Because we hypothetically, according to research, we could fill that gap. But <laughs> they don't have the values. Probably All right, guys, I gotta bounce. I, I gotta go fight my ban on Patreon for hate speech. I gotta All go. Right. Talk, talk, talk to Desi. Good luck with that, bro. Talk with Desi. Yeah. He would love to talk to you. All right, man. All right. Uh, that was fun. Yeah. See you later. All right. Take care, bro. Nice talking to you. Yep. All right. See you.